Yeah, I should probably do something about that. A little bit of... A little bit of sound behind us. Okay, so... Um, this is uh, this is my interview with Venora. Round two brought to you by Elgato. If you like great streaming sound for your stream, uh, shop Elgato. It works most of the time. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, uh, Vin, I have I have a ton of questions for you. Oh. Let's get the important one right out of the way. Uh, tell me about this penguin cankles. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just going to jump right into it, because uh, I, I was dying to know uh, about this. It was brought up to me, and I, I don't know anything about this. All right, um, I, I brought him, so this is... Oh, okay. This is Kankles. There, let's get a little more centered. Um, <laughs> I got him, oh gosh, like, I think like 12 years ago, and it's Kankles with a K. Um, I don't know, I, I told Chip and like our friends about him, like this is a whole path thing and now they just can't drop it. Well, Kankles is a party penguin. Right now he is naked. He does have outfits, usually for every holiday he gets outfits. Uh, my favorite outfit for him is, I went to Build-A-Bear and got a bathrobe and slippers. So he hangs out with his bathrobe most of the time. Um, he's just, <laughs> I have like a whole backstory. He's like a party penguin, you know, he gets all the ladies, all this stuff. And uh, the biggest thing that Chip and everyone could not get past is he used to have a Twitter and the Twitter used to have like 5,000 followers. Oh, it. wow. Yeah. Why, why, why no more Twitter? Did you get rid of it? Um, I think his Twitter is still going. It's just, I don't have the time to keep up with his social lifestyle. Ah, uh, stardom just also, too much, huh? Yeah, I also uh, didn't like what he was saying about his roommate on Twitter, which was me. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I would Photoshop him in like uh, club scenes and all this stuff. So he even gave out like dating advice on Flirtatious Fridays. Uh, it was great. Oh, wow. I just don't have the time anymore. I just, obviously I had no time. Yeah. I, mean, I obviously had all the time in the world actually. And that's what I did in my free time. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> I stopped doing uh, Kinkles probably like a little over five years ago, so that was like a long time ago. Wow. Oh, so so how long have you been um, streaming? Um, I've been streaming since July of 2020, so like a year and a half. Okay. Okay. Um, now, there are some terms that uh, people use. So we've got gamer, streamer, um, content creator, and now there's one that's just kind of a little bit newer to me anyway, which is an influencer. What do you think of that term? Do you think it applies to you? Um, I don't really think influencer applies to me. <laughs> <laughs> See, I would beg to differ because um, one of the most memorable moments I experienced on Twitch was uh, when you and Chip, okay, so a little backstory here. Venora did something very crazy to grow her brand. She did a collaboration with another content creator and they had twins. Um, it was kind of a radical way to grow your viewership, but uh, you know, can't deny the results. Um, you guys uh, opened up the laptop at the hospital and shared some of those moments, not the labor itself so much, but uh, you know, I got to be there um, and experience that. It's one of the things I'll probably never forget about on Twitch. I was just like, wow, look at this community involvement here. Um, and um, that was, it, it was a very actually intense moment because uh, your girls were premature, right? Yeah, they were three months premature. Yeah, and um, that was that was actually kind of intense and it definitely influenced me. So um, you might not think of yourself as an influencer, but it was it was a moment that left an impression on me. Um, tell, tell me about your experience with, with Chip and the girls. Um... How, how did how did you guys meet? Because I remember hearing about it in Mobile Gamer Stream of all places that you guys were kind of an item. Oh, um, so sorry. There you go. So we actually met through Twitch. Yeah. He was a Marvel Strike Force streamer, and I popped into his stream, and we were just kind of like talking about the game. Uh, but pretty much a uh, one time, I'm act I'm gonna say what was said. Uh, so one of his viewers came. In 
I chat one day and they're like, hey, did you know that you look like Chip Nasty's ex? Oh dear. Like, okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he messaged me and he was like, hey, sorry. He's like, I didn't realize I had like my personal Instagram like open when I started stream and they saw a picture of my ex. And he's like, I'm really sorry that they came in and said that to you. I hope it didn't make you feel awkward or anything. And I was like, no, it didn't. And that's how we started actually just kind of like chatting off stream, off mm -hmm. Twitch. And then, like, yeah, we just started like playing games together and eventually just evolved. Like we had a lot of things in common. We liked hanging out and we decided to meet up in person to see how things went. And yeah, and that's how it started with me and Chip is a viewer saying I look like <laughs> That's crazy. Um, you, <clears throat> you say that you haven't been doing this very long, but you seem to have a well-rounded experience with um, all of these, these platforms. And I see you in a lot of different uh, streams and you're very knowledgeable about stuff like, like Discord and things like that. How did you become so skilled at all of this stuff? Um, just, it's kind of like the way I am. Like I'm a very like fast learner and I mm -hmm. really teach myself with a lot of stuff. So like the things with Discord, it's pretty much all self-taught. I'm an admin uh, with Marvel Strike Force, my alliance and cluster exiled sons. And I'm an admin in that Discord and there's like over 600 members and there's like 400 channels. So I had to learn a lot of things with Discord to kind of help run that and get it smooth. Oh, wow. But I, with I, everything I... else, it's just self-taught stuff. Yeah, I just added one channel to my Discord and I hate adding channels because it's one more thing to take care of. And I'm terrible at it. Like I'm trying to figure out how to do embeds and things like that. I'm trying to manage the non-voy Discord. I am so out of my league, you know? Um, so I, I know you offered to help me there in the non voice So I may I may be taking you up on that too um, because uh, that, that group's actually growing pretty fast. So no, it's it's really impressive. Uh, this just this morning we were all playing marbles in um, AV Muse's stream together, and like that's another thing. Like I I don't know how to like stream raiders. I know what it is kind of. No idea how to implement it or or join in um, some of these things. It, I'm so out of my league in this in this whole area. Um, but it's so much fun to get to work with people and and just kind of hang out and mess around. What's your cat's name? Uh, my cat's name is Luna. Here, let me pull my camera out of the way. Whoops, that's the wrong camera. Let's do this one here. Luna? Yep, Luna. Okay. Um, that cat is, is always there. Does does that cat ever move? Like, do you have it sewn to that thing or something? No. <laughs> uh, she does move. She has pretty much uh, three main spots. Yeah. Uh, hoop cat tree. Uh, right now, she sleeps in one of the cribs because the girl sleeps. There's, they still sleep in bassinets. Mm-hmm and buy her food bowl <laughs> okay that makes sense i i kind of would be the same yeah a comfortable place to sleep near food that's pretty much me um she's always <clears> like <throat> by her food bowl if you walk even by the hallway she runs to it she's she's slightly chunky so oh, oh really oh okay okay um you are a a new mother with mm -hmm. twin girls which blows me away um how do you handle time management i mean i have i have two self maintaining kids they do they do pretty good on their own and i'm swamped for time all the time um i think the biggest thing that helps out with the girls is because they were premature the hospital had them on a very strict schedule on a very strict feeding schedule mm -hmm. and when they were discharged the girl the girls when they were discharged, the hospital kept them on a schedule. And they gave me, this is gonna be like their schedule for the feed. Yeah. So I pretty much have alarms on my phone. I have so many alarms on my phone to This is when I do their feeds. I have their continuous feed at night, but like I get- And the blitz alarm. My blitz alarm, yeah. <laughs> Reminder everyone to do your blitz rotations. Yep. Yeah, so I pretty much have just a bunch of alarms on my phone. I have an alarm uh, 30 minutes before their first feed in the day to start doing their food prep because I get all their bottles ready for the throughout the day. So it's just an easy grab and go. But yeah, just pretty much 
alarms, and then I do everything in between the feet. <laughs> wow. I... I, I guess I, I can imagine because I went through the diaper years with my kids, but um, two at the same time and, and to have, you know, w with them being premature and having more stricter regulations on how you handle all that stuff. I can't imagine like I, 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 I honestly, I don't even know how you turn on your computer because I would just be asleep all the time. When, when the kids were asleep, I would be asleep. Um, so that's that's quite impressive. It's nice because right now because they have feeding tube so they have a continuous feed from like 8 p.m to 5 a.m mm -hmm. so they pretty much sleep through the night because they don't wake up hungry i just wake up in the middle of the night to change them and then that's it so I, i'm able oh my to god i'm so sleep. jealous i don't think i don't think i got to sleep more than like two hours at a time for the first two years when when either of my kids were born so <clears throat> so no wonder you are able to maintain your sanity okay i see um does uh, do you and chip live together because you guys aren't married right no we're not married um the plan was for me to move out to california and move in with him or the girls were born but gwen decided otherwise mm -hmm. but yeah uh we've been out in and mid to mid late december so we've been out here in california for about two months now yeah but yeah we moved in with chip so we're all in the same house now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I see him walk through the shot every once in a while. So yeah. um, I, I figured he was he was there at least at least part time. He's a great guy. I really like watching his streams and stuff, too. Um, so. Um, <clears throat> what what was my next question for you here? Um. What is what is your experience? I don't know how to how to approach this. What is your experience being a, a, a female streamer? Is it do you think it differs from from the guys? I, I feel like there, there is a difference uh, between female and male streamers. Um, luckily, I didn't get like all the I don't really get creepers that come into my streams. I feel like with females, you get higher just yeah, awkward. Yeah, I guess you would call them like like creepers. Like right. What what's the most awkward situation you've ever been in while you're on stream? Um, I had any awkward situations with Marvel Strike Force, stream Marvel Strike Force. That community is pretty respectful. Yeah. Um, I've had. I was, I forgot what game I was streaming, but I've had a couple people come in at once telling me to like, I should move my camera down and show more chest area but my mods were definitely on it and just like blocked them instantly yeah but not yeah. Nothing thank you mods marvel. thank you you guys are great <laughs> <laughs> but yeah nothing with marvel strike force but i do feel like with females they get a little bit more of those type of people i guess yeah well i think you run a really classy stream I, that's why i go to hang out there it's a lot of fun um so uh, i i had a question you you do other games too um, what other games are you are you currently streaming right now? I mean, I know, but for the viewers. Yeah, so pretty much uh, my streaming schedule is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I do Marvel Strike Force Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. On Fridays, I stream a random game. Uh, right now, my main one is Star Wars The Old Republic. Mm -hmm. I also do Stardew Valley, Phasmophobia, Dead by Daylight. Okay. Um, my wife is is looking to start another game. Don't worry, guys. She's not quitting MSF, um, but she wants to pick up something else that's less time intensive that she can just kind of play for fun with her friends. Do you have any suggestions of of a good game that uh, doesn't? Ro it, it's not time intensive like Marvel Strike Force. It's not something you have to log into, you know, every day. Do you have any recommendations? Um, that you can play with friends. Yeah. Um. Like on the computer, I've been liking Fall Guys. That's yeah. fun to play with friends. You also have like Gang Beasts. And I guess Among Us came out with some new content that you can do. Oh God, my kids are in love with Among Us. I think that's like pretty much, I mean, I play like Dead by Daylight with friends, but I don't know if she would be interested in that type of game. I don't know. I didn't think she was going to play Marvel Strike Force, but now she's addicted just like me. Um, <clears throat> 
Yeah, so I'll, I'll have to I'll have to give her that list. I was uh, kind of going over some other stuff. She she actually liked to play um, Borderlands, and that new Tiny Tina's Wonderland or something is supposed to be coming out in a couple of months. So I don't know, maybe maybe we'll take a look at that too. But it's it's hard with with Marvel Strike Force. It almost feels like a job sometimes because you have to get in there and manage your 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 account so much. You have an interesting way of managing your account. Um, take for instance, you have uh, an excellent Hydra sniper that really carries your Eternals. Okay. Um, how how is it that you have some of these kind of um, more unusual tunes built up so much? Um, so I guess the story with Hydra Sniper and you can use channel points to gear up Hydra Sniper. We're going to stop him at gear 15. I'm not yeah. going to gear 16 my Hydra Sniper. Yeah, because I mean, that would be 16 would be crazy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm going to take him to DD5. Like, that's my goal. <laughs> And you can also use right now I added channel points to put T4 abilities on him and bring up his ISO. We're gonna get his ISO to blue ISO one at least. Um, I know so, I'm I'm saving up my channel points for that one. So um you know, Marvel Strike Force is a very like cookie cutter game. You work on the specific team for these specific game modes. You know, Dark Dimension 4 has like these are the rec recommended tunes that you use only use those tunes. Same with like raids, you have your teams, war, you have your defense and offense teams. And for me, to make the game fun is kind of go kind of off the track and away from like the normal of you need to work on these two and just working on just random things mm -hmm. just makes it fun for me. And my one of my viewers, Cool Lava, his favorite tune in the game because he really likes his model is Hydra Sniper. So we decided let's try to make the best Hydra Sniper in the game. Go away from the cookie cutter thing, make it a little bit more fun and unusual. Because whenever I post him on Twitter, I get people messaging like, what are you doing? It's like, I'm doing what I want. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. so that's, would you say that's your kind of your, your project that you're working on? Um, because like I, I have a project that I'm working on the same thing trying trying to make your own fun in the game is, is a little bit challenging So like I'm doing a hero brawler build with the web warriors instead of a straight-up web warrior build which everybody says I'm crazy for doing um, So you've got Hydra sniper. Are there any other tunes on your list that are uh, Unusual Because pretty like right now I'm kind of working like with rep, like web warriors getting mm -hmm. them up for when they get released and working on my Doom 2 teams. So Hydra Sniper is just, he's the project right now. He's in the spotlight. Okay. Yeah. Um, what about your Ravagers? Why aren't you building Ravagers like everybody else? Because they're so amazing and interesting and, and fun, right? I kind of forget about Ravagers. I mean, no. I back in the day when Yondu was like the best tune in the game, like one of the best <laughs> tunes. And then after Synergy came out, he went out the door and I just kind of forget about Ravagers. <laughs> Yeah, it's been years. I I do like their their new re rework. I think it's interesting. I'm glad that they're not OP. I think they're just the right amount of power and everything. It's it's fun that they made a mechanic that fits the the theme of the team. I mean, they steal things, you know, and that's really cool and interesting. But I'm worried that it's a total sink of my resources, and that um you know people are going to be building up uh, T'Challa, Star Lord, and and um oh Stitcher for for tech raids and then you know two months from now we'll get a tech raid team and we won't have the gear for it so i fear that 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 that's a trap you know i don't know maybe you maybe you don't worry about that stuff but i'm i'm always trying to figure out what's going to be the next meta what do i need to save up for what what, are, what am i going into for and and then at the same time you got to do something that's fun and enjoyable and and silly like a hydra sniper a hydra sniper is not silly just f He's the best tune in the game. <laughs> sorry, sorry. My bad. My bad. <laughs> but yeah, with the Ravagers, um, I guess, is it is it kind of sad that I actually haven't even looked up the, like, the rework? So I have no idea what's going on with them. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. I I don't think you're, you're missing out on too much. I think it's just one of those teams that's... It, it could be fun if you're interested in it, and a lot of people are really excited about it. Um, I, I do think it's an interesting team, but I'm not excited about it enough to, to be dumping my resources in it. I mean, I mean, if you want, I mean, I just hear like T'Challa Star Lord could possibly be like good for raid, so I might look into But other than that, I just don't know about the rest. 
Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. Um, I, I just, like I said, I think that uh, they're just good enough that it's going to lure a lot of people into it. And then, and then a little while from now, we'll get an actual raid team and it'll require some of the similar gear. They seem to be doing that a lot more with like, what was it, uh, Alien Spores, and then it was Miasma, and now it's Oz Formula, where they just create this sink of resources and yeah. you're scrambling. Um, so I, I'm trying to keep um, keep a, a full um, inventory of all sorts of different stuff. Um, what what is um, what, what's your favorite raid team? That you that you enjoy playing with, not maybe like your best on your roster, but what's the one that you actually like enjoy playing? Um, with raids, I guess I would say I enjoy playing with Mystic. Yeah, uh, I don't have Dagger unlocked yet. She's very close. So I did not put any resources into Cloak because so I don't have Cloak and Dagger. But my Mystic is Deathpool, Silver Surfer doom and like who who is it like and the eternals i i don't know i just i have really fun a, a lot of fun with the eternals mm -hmm. so doing the mystic nodes is great yeah especially with death pool i love death pools like final ultimate animation when she has the five charges i don't know i just think it's fun yeah yeah, I, I just actually noticed some new animations with um, Icarus. Like, he goes in there and does these, like, body blows on people, and I hadn't even seen it before. It's always kind of fun when you find little things like that in there. Um, did you happen to catch uh, Valley's video? I think it just posted it last night. Valley did an interview with um, one of the devs. Um, did you, you didn't happen to catch that one? Just came out last night? Okay, but you did... You saw in the in the non voice we were all talking about the other interview with Mobile Gamer and, and Reminex, um, talking with Cerebro. And did you see that video? I did not watch it. I was planning on watching it, but then I just kind of like read the feedback. It was kind of right. like, I don't know if I'm going to. <laughs> right. It was um, it was exactly what I thought it it would be. Um, I didn't join in on the round table. Uh, I was I was busy doing other things and. Um, I don't think I would have had anything productive to add to the conversation anyway. I was a little bit disappointed that... Well, I guess I wasn't disappointed. We, I, I got exactly what I thought I was going to get out of that conversation, um, which was pretty much nothing. And um, I, would have, I would have liked to have had something more substantial as far as um, Scopely taking a little bit more responsibility for such a travesty of an event. Um, yeah. what, what are your thoughts on, on the Thanos event? It was bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so bad. But like, I, I don't know, like, cause like, even like going back with like the like the interview with Cerebro, um, yeah, I didn't watch it. Um, I did hear from like a lot of people that there's, you know, like nothing really good that came out of, and I try to just steer clear from like, I, I attempt to. I mean, I have my own opinions. Like the Thanos event was was crap. <laughs> yeah. It's horrible. But I really try to steer clear from like the negativity. So it's like, okay, the video, the interview, like a lot of people are just telling me like it didn't really have anything good that came out of it. So it's like, okay, I'm probably not going to watch it because I don't want to get like caught up in the negativity or the negative energy mm -hmm. and try to stay positive. So I just, I don't know. I and mean, I hear stuff like, um, what others? There was another video too, like I wanted to watch and people were like, what? There, there's nothing really good that came out of it, so it's like, okay, like I'm not gonna like watch right. it. Even I should just watch it just to see with like my opinion of it, or maybe I get like I can get something from it. But I just I kind of steer clear from that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna take off this ridiculous uh, Christmas hat here for, for just a second. <clears throat> you know, those Christmas um, hats they get hot. They get hot. <laughs> yeah, they, they do get a little warm, don't they? Um, uh, well, I like to be festive. Uh, so, how how involved do you like to get in the in in the MSF world? I mean, I know you're very involved with the community, but as far as doing your research on game topics and things like that, do you just kind of like let your your chat tell you what's going on, or do you deep dive into everybody else's content? Or are you you know going through JSON files or whatever? Um, the chat, you know, of course, like tells me what's going on. I do my own research. 
I do look up, like, I do look at, like, the blogs. I look at, you know, other Discord posts. I go into other streams, watch what those streamers are doing, talking about. Um, I don't really go into, like, the data mines. I don't read those. I mean, I, I just, I do my own research. I yeah. do. A lot of times, though, sometimes, like, because of time restraints. Mm-hmm. I have two time restraints. <laughs> Sometimes I just stick with what the chat tells me, but I do even have people that I talk to on Discord that kind of like, hey, like I'll read like a blog post and I'll kind of like talk to them for like ideas, like, hey, like, you know, what are your thoughts on this? And we kind of like talk and forth with stuff so I can get some more insight. Yeah. Do you do um, like prep work for your streams? Do you just like sit down and plot some things out that you're going to talk about for the day or do you just turn on the camera and go? Sometimes I turn on the camera and go. Um, I'm I'm very old school. I do have I do have a little binder that oh, I yeah. make notes in. I actually do sometimes like I write down notes from like the blog posts and everything, kind of, like what like talking topics could be. Right. I I always find it interesting to um, talk to these different content creators and streamers and gamers. And, and just kind of hear their their experience, how they go through it, because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm new at this whole thing and I'm kind of evolving my my tactics and my research and things like this about what I'm going to do when the camera turns on. Just the other day, I did a bonus stream just off the top of my head and was just hanging out with one of my buddies. And it was one of my favorite streams ever. And we were just chilling, playing some games and it was great. And then other times I put in a ton of research and whatnot. Um, your streams are always entertaining. They're always fun. I love stopping by because um, there's always a great group of people in there. It's uh, high energy, lots of positivity. Um, really cheers me up when I go there and hang out. So um, I'm going to I'm going to keep stopping by as often as possible. I don't want to keep uh, too much of your time. It's it's been a half hour now, and uh, I'm sure you probably have some other things you want to get to. But I'm so glad you uh, took me up on this offer. I'm sorry we had to postpone it the first time, um, but I'm glad we got back around to it. And I'm glad I got to take the time to get to know you a little better. Yeah, thank you for having me. I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate you asking Chip what you can ask me. Of course, he brings up Kinkle. <laughs> oh, Kinkles. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, think that's, uh, I think that's pretty cool. You guys have uh, uh, a lot of fun on stream, both... Both you guys um, going over to going over to Chip Stream too. He's he's a great guy. I've been watching him for a while. That's that's how I found out about you. Was was um, when he was uh, streaming MSF a lot more. Uh, I, I, your name came across, and then of course, like I like I heard in Mobile Gamer Stream that you guys were an an item, or there was something going on there, and I was like, oh wow, that's interesting. So it was it was fun to watch uh, that development happen right there. Um, again, thank you for stopping by, and. Um, I'll be talking to you again soon, I'm sure. Thank you so much for having me. (laughs) All right. Bye. Bye. So I got this new stream deck, right? And my wife is like, don't you dare plug that in before your Venora interview. Because of the disaster of last week with me clicking update the night before and just totally destroying my sound. Um, And so I was like, okay, okay, I won't plug it in. And uh, it was, it was... um, yeah, I, I can't wait to work my stream deck so I don't have to do all this clicking with the mouse and stuff. I could just beep and make things go. But I'm a ways away from that happening. How's it going, guys? Um, Who's here? I haven't even got to see. I haven't even got to see what's going on. Why isn't my phone working? I'm a little behind the curve today, aren't I? So we got some defense up videos to go to. We have uh, some... Uh, hero brawler building with those web warriors. Vexer is now following. What's up, Vexer? Thank you for the follow, my friend. Um, this button over here. Free manager. There we go. That's better. Thanks, Stocky. I appreciate that. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's see what's going on. What's up, Crofty? What's up, Apex? What's up, Kane? What's up, Ouija72? What's up, Sassy Mama? What's up, Ramen Face? What's up, Duke? What's up, Stocky? Wow, what's up, Gizmo Nismo? What's up, Fox Robin? Fox Robin, I see you all over the place, man. 
I swear you live on Twitch. You're here more than I am. I'm just trying to just just briefly going over what's been going on in my chat. Hey, Silver. Okay. <clears throat> So, let's play some Marvel Strike Force and things, shall we? Oh, for crying out loud. This, it sucks being... Okay, I just, I just, I was gonna say it sucks being number one. That was really kind of like a lame comment. It's, it's frustrating when you get into the rank number one and you're there for the whole fucking day. Okay, we'll fix this. We're gonna fix this. We're gonna fix this number one position because I would like to do some some uh, arena attacks Everybody wants me to work on my ravagers. Let's throw in the ravagers and see how it goes, huh? Where's Star Lord? We'll put in Star Lord make it look like I'm actually trying to do something What do you think? There No, I didn't want to save that squad. Oh well, whatever is that the defense? Is the defense set? Good, the defense is set. All right, maybe I'll come back in an hour and I'll be someplace where I can do an arena attack, huh? Uh, Serpumatia. Those vowels just, just really stump me, don't they? <laughs> I can't get those vowels. Vinora, you are always welcome to come hang out in my chat. If you ever want to just come on voice or video, just shoot me a message. I will always have you on. Um, you are one of the um, nicest, funnest people on Twitch, I swear. Uh, I am I, I am genuinely honored that you took the time to come and hang out and, and, and let me ask you a bunch of different questions at complete random discombobulated order. Right? That, that interview didn't exactly go straight i was trying something new right i was just trying to just like free form it without any bullet points and everything and i was all over the place that's okay though that's that's okay because i'm gonna edit that together anyway so we'll, we'll see i'll make it look real good i'll just cut me out of it and then it'll look great um <clears throat> what's up sassy mama the consonants are challenging for you at times yeah that's right stochasticism <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, let's, let's go do stuff and things. I think I need to, um, did I do all my, I haven't done this yet. I need to go in here and get my Doom Farms. Get some of this knocked down, we'll hit some, oh, we're not, the raids aren't up yet. We're doing Doom 2 today, baby. I'm stoked. I'm gonna see if I can't talk the Alliance Leader into launching it before, um, just before war, so I can actually do some on stream. Cause I haven't done Doom 2, it's been like a month since we tried Doom 2. We got our ass kicked the last time we did it. Like we lost a, a member and then tried jumping in and and we didn't really plan out the raid lanes or anything. We're like, yeah, let's just wing it. And I don't think we got 20%. It was worse than the previous time. It was terrible. Um, RTA is not, do I have to do RTA? Please tell me I did that beforehand. Uh, raid, advance the alliance. Good, I already did RTA, so I ain't gonna force you guys to watch that nonsense. Did anybody launch raids yet? Okay, good. So good, I'm not quite energy capped yet. When I get energy capped, I'll start screaming at Silver. <clears throat> I'm still not gonna do anything? What, what are you not gonna do? Thank you, Hollywood, yes. Uh, there's there's Venora's link. Please go over and give her a follow if you don't already follow her. I see a lot of friendly faces in chat today. Um, so you guys all, all pretty, much, pretty much know Venora. I hope that I brought up some new information and spread light on, on her situation. Uh, so that you guys can, I don't know. I just like getting to know people, you know? And, th and then when I force them onto the camera and just ask them stupid questions, like, like, tell me about your penguins. <clears throat> the one that got you streaming? Oh, I should have asked about that, yeah. Yeah, I always think of, I think of awesome questions after the fact. Oh well, I'm learning. I'll figure it out. If you don't know me, I'm all about failing on stream. That's like my shtick, is just screwing things up every time I turn the camera on. 
Uh, let's see, what am I doing? Uh, we're gonna go, okay, so I put in uh, the T4 on her basic, so we can do the blind trick today. If you were watching the bonus stream, whenever the hell that bonus stream was, uh, we were trying to do the blind trick, and oh, thank you, Fedora. And we were trying to do the blind trick, um, and I didn't realize that it required the T4, and I tried it like three times, and it failed, of course, because it doesn't, it doesn't work without the T4. Uh, so we got the blonde, we got the T4 in there, and we'll we'll see it up there. Uh, hey, what's up, Panther? I haven't seen you in here before. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, we G. I, I I saw her do the push-ups. Yeah, we were talking about that in um, AV Muses stream this morning. Um. Yeah, if I'm not streaming, I'm in somebody else's stream. And I usually have like a YouTube video running while listening to somebody else's stream while I'm doing paperwork at work. Like, I have to multitask to that level to do the things that I need to do in life and still be able to hang out with friends on Twitch and stuff. Uh, let's go farm some brawler gear. Oh wow, I only have 32 energy. Did I, did I hit these? Nope, not doing that. Well, I guess I guess I'm done with my farms. I must have taken that taken care of that beforehand. All right, let's go screw around in blitz. I think it's probably time for a blitz. I'm not sure. My blitz alarm hasn't gone off yet. Do I have it? Oh yeah, it's time for a blitz. Okay, good. Uh, real quick. Uh, yeah, I'll run through. I'll run through the list, and then I'll go back and I'll actually build that hero brawler team. We'll give it a try. <clears throat> yes, happy holidays. Uh, happy Boxing Day if you're in Canada. Happy, I don't know, if, if you're outside of the US and you celebrate some other kind of holiday, please tell me all about it so I can remember to say happy whatever or merry whatever or why am I doing this on manual? I don't do manual stuff. I'm an auto kind of guy. I just want to auto. <clears throat> Yeah, it's weird doing those late night streams, like from 10 to midnight, because I'm not all hopped up on caffeine and stuff, and I gotta be quiet because my kids are asleep. It was a totally different vibe for me during that stream. And um, and for some reason, like just hanging out with Sifushan, and we're just, just bullshitting about stupid builds and just, I don't know, I had a lot of fun doing that. <clears throat> Run seven, you want the extra snowflakes. Yes, I do. I do want the extra snowflakes. Isn't Boxing Day the day after Christmas? Yes, I believe it's one day off. I don't know if it's before or after. Um, I, I know Boylan was talking about it and he mentioned it. And so that's why I bring it up. Cause Boylan's a nice guy. I really dig it. I, I wish, you know, it, the non-voy is like one, we have like two rules, which is basically um, you can't be an envoy and you can't be an asshole. And those are like our only restrictions. And I think we should get a little bit more flexible about the envoy one, because I would really like it if Boylan would come back and hang out. We used to have some really good conversations in the, in the non-voy chat. <clears throat> December 26th is the Boxing Day. What is Boxing Day? I don't know. I mean, it's obviously a Canadian holiday, but like, what is it for? What are they celebrating? Like, are they really boxing enthusiasts or is that word like a different or something like that? Yeah, they stole him from us. I know, right? <clears throat> hey man, did you did you see Boylan's video? Like he did uh, the collaboration with Valley on the news and then he did another collab with Mobile Gamer. Um, kid's doing great. I'm really, uh, I'm so proud for him. And he deserves it. He's such a hard worker and his, um, his information on events is the best. Hands down. There's no one that understands events in Marvel Strike Force better than Boylan. Um, you know what, Fox Robin, there is, um, why is that? I need to, I need to get that. Lips34 is now following. Thank you, Lips. I need to bring that up here so that I can see. That is a doc, and that is a that's status, stream information, Twitch stats. Is that the one I want? No, that's not. I don't want Twitch stats. I hate Twitch stats. I don't like looking at the number of viewers that's in here. That's a terrible number to concentrate on. What is it, stats? 
No, that's not it either. See, here's me failing again. Um, the docks. I know there's something here. Twitch activity feed. That's the one I want. Hang in there. Okay. <clears throat> um, no way Jose followed. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. If Venora cheered 100 bits, see, I got to bring up this thing. I, I got to bring this thing up so I don't miss it anymore. Um, what was I talking about? Yes, Boxing Day is for the people. Servants would get a day off. Oh, that's cool. He's the king of spreadsheets. Yes, he he's he's fantastic about it. So, um, Fox Robin, there's like there's kind of there's uh, there's a view out there about envoys that um, they that being an envoy is like the stamp of approval or something. And I don't know, I don't think so. I think being an envoy simply gives you access to the devs. Um, I would love to have that kind of access. I don't want NDAs though. I really enjoy being a non-envoy because it's like the indies of content creators, right? We don't have any support but our own. We all work as a team. I mean, you guys saw that collab that they did um, just the other day everybody jumping in and working together. Uh, and I was actually, to be honest, I was a little bit nervous about that. Like I was, um, I had some stuff going on and I couldn't be there. And so I watched it on, I watched the Twitch recap. It should be coming out on Hargrave's channel if you missed it. It should be coming on Hargrave's channel today, hopefully. Um, and um, I was a little bit nervous because the non voice are an excitable bunch. Like we are very enthusiastic about growth and momentum, helping one another, getting out there and really interacting with the community. Um, everybody's kind of fresh and no one's really been like trolled hard, you know? Um, and so it's an excitable bunch. And I was kind of worried about that, that interview that it might just, that people might get carried away or something, but it was great. They did an awesome job. They were critical and respectful um, and had some great points. And then like Tony jumped in there at the end and really kind of rounded out some of the information that was going in. Because if you guys don't know Tony Skangeli, he's a very knowledgeable person in the industry, in the streaming community, in the gaming community. And he's got, he's a smart dude, right? I am nervous about going into his chats sometimes because if you say something stupid, you're going to know it, right? Because he's a smart guy and he doesn't waste his time just on stupid comments and stuff. What's up, Mostef Isley? Um, so it was it was cool. He jumped in there at the end for a little bit of, um, I wouldn't say devil's advocate. He didn't, he's definitely not going to support that conversation, but he came in with some alternative perspective at the end. It was just a great little round table. And um, if Hargrave would ever put that out, come on, Genome, get with the pro program here. If Hargrave would ever get that out there, uh, uh, it's, I don't know if it's uh, on Genome's desk or, or what, but if they get it out there, um, I'll be I'll be posting links and stuff to it so so you guys can find that because it was a good recap of what was going on there. <clears throat> Genome is on your level, Hollywood. Yeah, Genome's a smart guy too, man. He does not put out enough content. I wish he put out more content for me to watch because I would totally watch. He has great opinions and stuff too. Genome is, is fantastic. Hey, what's up, Root? Root was there. Root, you did an excellent job. You had that background that popped and your positivity in that in that round table was fantastic. Um, just some really good stuff. And I, I got to I got to hear from uh, from everybody there. It was it was uh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. I'm really glad that I sat through and watched. Oh, my God, though, if you watch those stupid um, the replays on Twitch, which they put out commercials in it, like it feels like every five minutes that they put in a, a two minute commercial break. It's horrible. And I if I correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that the streamer gets any monetization from those commercials. And it's it's a shame because it's actually kind of hard to sit through like a long video stream when it's constantly breaking for commercials like that. 
You know, it's why we subscribe to streamers, so we don't have to put up with that nonsense. And I think if you're subscribing to somebody, you shouldn't have to put up with the restream commercials either. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't like the way Twitch does that. There's a lot of things I don't like about Twitch, but it has nothing to do with the community. Yeah, Vin, when I, when, um, whenever that video posts, I'll be putting links up everywhere. I'll throw it up in the non-void Discord so that uh, everybody can take a look at it. Unfortunately, the that size round table takes too long to ask every single person their opinion. Need to get two to three on each topic so you can keep moving and not be stale. I agree, Fox Robin. It is tough, um, but uh, behind the scenes, that thing was thrown together in like two hours time. Everybody just got excited and said, let's do this. They jumped in and, and they, they got it done as best they could. And I think for, for that format, it actually went really well. Uh, Hartgrave gonna be Hartgrave, right? Uh, and and he did he did well organizing it and getting it done for how many people and how big that was. It was pretty good. Do you want to have the raids up now or do you want to wait a bit longer? Um, Silver, let's. Why don't you throw up the raids after defense up? Uh, so like an hour from now, because I still got a little bit of energy to go. I'm not capped yet. Um, and then I can get the defense up videos out there. That would be fantastic. Thanks, boss. I appreciate that. See, my alliance leader is so awesome. He looks out for us. He helps me all the time. Um, Silver, did you get payout at number one in the arena? I heard you. I heard you climb to number one, free to play in this meta, and you're number one. Um, did you get a, a number one payout? I got boned in the arena yesterday. I was sitting at number one all day long, and at two minutes and 30 seconds, I got knocked back to number three, and I could not attack anybody. And that's just how the arena works, right? Don't get me wrong, it's better than Black Order or IW, but um, <clears throat> at least we got like five different, maybe every once in a while you get a different choice of team in there. No, I'm not gonna do that. Um, unfortunately, no, I was 10 that night. Yeah, that sucks. I'm sorry. My four star Eternals make me a target for most. Honestly, those Eternals can do like all you have to do is have them at a reasonable level. You don't have to let like a maxed out Eternals can uh, doesn't have that much of an edge over a four or five star Eternals as long as you have similar gear levels in them like at least I'm finding I'm finding that it, this this arena meta has a chance to to allow a lot of people to do a lot of different things. I mean, hell, Infinity Watch can still edge in there every once in a while. Send Raven with a party of 29 viewers. You guys are just in time. Thank you for the raid, my friend. Uh, we're about to start defense up videos here in like 10 minutes. Actually, we might just jump into it early. Send Raven, how was your stream? <clears throat> Bendable straws throwing up those emotes. How's it going, my guy? Yeah, it's just about who goes first in the arena. You can beat anything. Yeah. I have a friend that has a G4 cable and easily wins. He just needs to load in. Yeah, yeah that's right. Cable, Emma, Loki, they just need to load in. I will say this, though. If you can get those characters big enough that they survive an Icarus alt, there's a chance that you can come back and win because, you know, Icky doesn't alt twice. And so you can survive that, and th th there's a chance. Usually not because the turn meter rewind and stuff, but it's a chance. So it's it's not a terrible idea to bring those tunes up. But I mean, where does the, where's the value in cable elsewhere? You know, like do you really want to take him to G14, G15 cable? Come on, that's terrible. Um, the black guy followed. Hey guy, I was talking to you in somebody else's stream earlier. Where was that? Um, I saw you someplace earlier. I spend so much time in so many other streams that I just, I, I get mixed up. Okay, so let's see if anybody knocked me down. Oh wow, I'm already down in five. Okay, so we can change that defense now. Here's the defense I was running because Ravagers are awesome. Ravagers are so awesome. So that's the defense I ran. Notice the power level because they are the worst tunes I have in the game other than Star-Lord. Star-Lord's, uh, here, here's Star-Lord's 88,000. Um, you can also run Adam Warlock, Phyla with Icarus and Doom, and it it'll counter the blow up. Yes, I see. I see the Adam Warlock builds, those those partial Infinity uh, Watch builds. Um, I see those all the time. You can kind of so here's the arena ones that I save, right? 
This one for when I need to knock myself down, because you'll just sit at number one in my arena for a while. So I put this in to knock myself down so I can get arena attacks in. Infinity Watch, of course. If they're running Infinity Watch, I run this team right here. If they're running this team, I run this team. If they're running this team, I run this team, and so on right on up the list. Let's throw in, I don't know, who do I, who do I wanna put on defense today? Let's do the, um, let's do the ultra, ultra fast one. We'll just put this one in on defense, just for fun. I just mix it up. Um, Hollywood Insider Club costs five dollars a month. Oh you're, oh, you're paying for admission now, Hollywood. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it was AV Muse. Yeah, I'll get you into the top twenty at least in arena. Ask Raw about it. Hey, uh, Raw, uh, Raw was doing great. She's she's been um, smashing it in her arena. I'd like to invite Send Raven to the non-voice. Bendable, I think that is a fantastic idea. I think that is an absolutely fantastic idea. Throw it up in the non-voice chat. Um, but you know that's gonna totally pass admissions. We know that, we know that. <clears throat> okay, so we're not gonna go for number one because I actually wanna get some attacks in. Here is uh, Hella Zemo this, which is the same thing as the Hella Zemo Doom. So if it's the same thing as Hella Zemo Doom, uh, Hella Zemo Doom, so we go to this team right here. Okay. There's always fine print. Yeah, there's always some boiler boilerplate, right? Um, so who do I have ability block then? I guess I, instead of ability blocking Doom, I want to ability block him. But I could ability block Zemo, right? And maybe even get some more value out of that? I don't know, who do I ability block, guys? Thank you, Pathfinder Gaming. Happy Tuesday to you too. Who should I ability block, Zemo? Okay. We will ability block Zemo and just completely kill him. Rewind that turn meter. Uh, let's go over here on this one. Slow him down. Uh, rewind some of that turn meter. And uh, we'll give this guy a little poke. Boop. And come over here. Uh, he's already got that if he's, I think he calls the assist on the special, I can't remember. Yes, there we go, the assist on the special. So people are talking about some different ISO 8 builds on the Eternals. Um, Striker on Cersei, Raider on Icarus. And it's like a thing, guys. It's like a thing. I'm I'm hearing about it in the comments and stuff. Like people are commenting in the defense up comments and, and they're talking about it. And there it's people say it has value also uh it looks like we should be running kestrel as a raider that there's way more damage output on it and i'm looking at this um Reminex was uh, was going over the math on it and there's like on average you're doing way more damage as a raider did you hear my voice just kind of go weird uh killed zemo couldn't get double tap from icky feels bad too strong Venable Straws gifting one tier, tier one sub. Thank you, you're fucking awesome. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Kestrel Raider, I agree. Yeah, I'm probably gonna change her up. I'll probably do that. I will probably do that. Okay, uh, do you guys wanna do some defense up real fast? I think it is, it's pretty, pretty much 10 o'clock. Let's do some defense up videos. Now I did preload these. I did do my job and preload these. Steven is now following. Thank you for the follow, my friend. <clears throat> Team number one. And who are we doing? Uh, let's go here. Hold on. Let me make sure I get these right. Do, 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 do. Test account. Who are we doing first? We're doing Smith to Gemini first. And then we're going to go over uh, down here. Or is it? Whoops, I passed it. Uh, then we're going to go over Nox Arrow. Um, so both of these have some interesting stuff. 
Uh, Nox Arrow's gonna be crazy, guys. It's gonna be crazy. Probably the highest scoring defense up we've ever had. Some of the biggest teams. And uh, he's got some new defenses that I have not seen before that I'm probably going to be recommending as, as a standard defense, as a, like a meta standard. I was I was actually very impressed by 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 those. So we're gonna go get into that. Uh, yeah. So it's Smith the Gemini and Nox Arrow. Uh, bring this one up, and we're gonna switch over to defense up. There's the first one, and of course the Blazer. Thank you for reminding me. Um, yeah, Bendable Straw is a good guy, isn't he, Steven? He's a good guy. <clears throat> I'm glad more awareness is out challenging the status quo on something. My Kestrel has been Raider since Doom 1 raids. I had too many strikes. Yeah. Yeah, right? People went pretty heavy on the strikers right off the bat. So, um, I got the She-Hulk costume ordered. It's on its way. Uh, it'll probably be... <clears throat> it'll probably be, like, New Year's... Should be here before New Year's, but technically I do have to wait until Forza and Bargains make it to January 1st. That's their 100 days of sobriety. And then, um, and then I do have the, the She-Hulk costume. It's ordered. Uh, Raw has the Invisible Woman costume. It's ordered. It's on the way. Um, oh, the Invisible Woman costume. There was something funny happened with that one. I should uh, I should load those photos up. Remind me about the Invisible Woman costume after Defense Up, and I'll get to that story. But we gotta get some, we gotta get some work done. Gotta gotta get those YouTube videos going. <clears throat> okay, uh, I want something different than this. Um, this. Um. Yeah, that's an okay song. We'll just go with that. We'll do that. That's fine. <clears throat> okay, and I moved my stop recording button to the keyboard so I don't accidentally hit stop streaming because I'm a smart guy. And I will be moving it to the stream deck eventually. All right, so uh, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, we'll be right back. Should be a little bit better anyway. Okay, so we'll try and bring down the volume just a little bit. It's kind of hard because I was uh, it's pretty excited. This has been a fun day for me. I'm uh, pretty amped. That was a fun defense up to do, and the interview with Venora was exciting. And uh, now I get to be in here streaming with my wife, which is one of my favorite things to do. So we're going to go over some stuff and things. And uh... Oh, I was talking, ab I was talking about um, becoming a captain. Oh, hold on a second. You know what? Um, let's bring the music down a touch. And then I'm gonna take these headphones off so I can stay a little bit more involved in the conversation with my wife. Cause I notice when I have the headphones on, <laughs> I tend to like tone her out a little bit. <clears throat> okay. No, no, it's funny. Cause I actually have it on camera now. Like, yeah, yes. Yeah, streaming has, streaming has somehow helped our marriage. Is that, is that weird? Honestly, it actually has coming in here and, and streaming together. We kind of have a little fun. It's like our, like we live busy lives, both of us. She, she was going to school. She's on break right now, but she was going to school. Busy, 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 right? And I run a company, and it's takes up tons of my time. And so, twice a week, Hollywood just gifted five subs. You're fucking awesome, Hollywood. You're Thank you for that. Fucking awesome. Kind of out, of, out of your mind. <laughs> um, so uh, we we get this, you know, twice a week. We get to come in here for a couple hours and just hang out with our friends and and play video games, and and it's. It's kind of there. It's it's that moment of peace, even though is peacefulness is probably not the title for my streams. <laughs> Thank you very much, Hollywood. I do appreciate those those subs. There's, it's weird to be like you're fucking awesome, but in a whisper. <laughs> well, the thing is, is your microphone's filtered, so it'll bring it up and sounds. I know it's weird because I was shouting in the microphone earlier. We'll get used to it, and I'm gonna get her a boom arm too, and we'll we'll get this get sound dampening paddle panels, all all kinds of stuff. When crazy people like Hollywood sub to my uh, to my stream, all that just gets turned around. 100% of it goes back into stream to try and make things better for you guys. Mr. Bargains gifted five subs. You're fucking awesome, Mr. Bargains. Hey, Bargains. I don't know if you heard, but um, the costumes are on order. E-Hulk is coming my way. Oh, in fact, let me show you guys. Hold on a second. <clears throat> 
Oh, hold on real quick. Okay. Of run. So, uh, the black guy, he has compared you to two people. I'm assuming you're a he because it says guy. So just a heads up. Uh, um, has compared you to two different people now. Oh, really? Yes. Right now he's saying you're a rugged Stephen Amell. I don't know who that is. Do you know who Stephen Amell is? I don't know who Stephen Amell is. I'm not very in tune with pop culture, guys. I'm sorry. There is another one. Who is the other person you said he looked like? I'm curious. All, okay. Oliver Queen from the Green Arrow. Okay. Oliver Queen really? is who you had said I'll take earlier. That. I'll take that. <laughs> oh, you're not disappointed? No, that's a good looking dude right there. I'll take that one. Sure. And yes, for the record, I am happy to be married to him. Sometimes. Okay, so... All right, you can go do your thing now. Oh, th there we go, and there's that. Well, I wanted to show... Okay, so... <clears throat> Way Too Raw sends me to a website because I'm going to be the Hulk. For those of you who don't know, uh, we, have, we have two brothers who are trying to uh, quit drinking for 100 days. 100 days of sobriety. And on New Year's Day, they will have completed 100 days. I feel certain that they're going to be successful. So they picked out their costumes for me and her to wear as... A reward, I guess. Mr. Bargains, you're fucking awesome. And so um, I'm going to be dressed as She-Hulk because there's a thing on this channel that She-Hulk's just, I have a seven red She-Hulk and it's embarrassing. Anyway, and she is going to be Invisible Woman. And um, let me bring up my, so last night, my wife sends me this website to order the costume and she filters it for Invisible Woman, Fantastic Four costume or whatever. And the very next picture Right, like I'm, I'm, I order it and everything, and then I'm like, I'm like, what, what else do they have? And I scroll up one photo, and go oh, here, find it in Discord. And I can do about it. Oh, you should bendable, but like, like him dressed as She-Hulk. The very next picture. <laughs> How does that make the Fantastic Four filter? And I'm kind of curious, what words did they have to blur out here? <laughs> right now, I, I saw this and I experienced something within myself. Okay, and I'm not gonna admit too much here. But I'm just gonna oh my ask. Gosh, stop. I'm just gonna ask a question. Okay, does this turn anybody on? <laughs> stop. I'm asking for a friend, of course. I'm just saying, if I went to a party and people were wearing these costumes, I would know that I had arrived. <laughs> anyway, so that happened. <clears throat> you don't have me on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's oh, that's because we're on the right monitor. Uh... Okay, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Wait, the chat's <clears throat> killing me. <laughs> Okay. I love redheads. <laughs> Isn't that just the weirdest thing? I, I just couldn't believe that. Okay. It just popped up in next to the filter. In my defense, all I looked at was the Invisible Woman costume. I, I did not you totally go missed explore. it. That was so funny. She sent me to that, and that was in the next one in line. Oh, okay. my gosh. Um, hey, Silver, if you're still in here, um, we could probably start raids pretty soon. So, Although... It does give me, it does give great ideas for your next costume. Oh, God. <laughs> when, <laughs> oh, God. When I don't want to dive too deep into that costume. <laughs> like, that's edgy material for our stream, I think. Um, Looks like somebody already chose where we're going, so we're going to go here. Way to, way to take point, Jack. Appreciate that. I honestly do. We, we don't do that enough. Hey, um, wow, see, look at this. See, this is what I'm talking about. You guys don't want to be putting your, your best stuff up front because now we know who who in our alliance should be attacking into these. Like, these are the two most important defenses, you know, that you can put out there. And I don't think you should be putting Infinity Watch on defense. But now we can assign attackers at appropriate levels right off the bat so this isn't a waste. Or if this was hidden at the back, you know, we, we might not, you know, just, I don't know. I think you should hide these at the back. <clears throat> Unless there's a tactic of putting them out front and then people think, oh, well, let's do this, and then you waste it. I don't know. Stocky points out it's in flight deck also. Yeah, it is flight deck, so I don't know. There's, I just think we should always be putting these in the back. Yeah, not in a flight deck. I mean, maybe they're trying to persuade people to go attack someplace else. I don't know. These are the things I think about in war. That's what war is fun. Hey, what's up, Sifushan? 
I mean, they could be. They could be trying to deter you from going that way. So I think this is a major punch down for any of my teams that might do it. Yeah, mm. 730. Well, let's go over here. Let's do um, let's do my supernatural, hella natural team. See if we can control this one. I kind of like doing the... Oh, that's a... I agree, Mr. Mm. Bargains. It's so weird. I don't ever talk this... Like, I don't even talk this quiet normally yeah neither do you <clears throat> run well i so i bought the lumber to build the new studio and i've got the shipping container to put it into um it's just a matter of finding the time to cut it all out start building it wiring it together and everything that's going to happen over the next six months but when i build that I'm going to probably put a dividing wall in so we can get back to yelling at each other because it's way more fun. Oh my gosh, that'd be so... Thank you. That's like the most romantic <laughs> you thing you've ever said. Uh, it's... It, man, sound on a stream is such a challenging thing to do. I feel like we're on like an ASMR stream. Like, a little bit, right? Yes. A little bit. Yes. I'm not going to lick the microphone, though. Please don't. And neither are you. I mean, after a stream, we can... I mean, only if you're wearing the fox costume. <laughs> See, I missed the taunt. I gotta figure out what I'm doing wrong there. I gotta figure out what I'm doing wrong. <clears throat> Can I finish my story? Yeah, oh, sure. Go ahead. About becoming a captain. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I'll just, I'll just play and listen. Go so ahead. I said no. Do not become a captain, right? Like I even told Ron. I messaged him and I was like, so they invited me to become a captain, and he just sent me this giant caps lock. Like no. Like, as, as every character he could use. And I was like, but I kept talking to them. And I kind of got, like, I feel like a pretty good deal. I don't have to launch raids. I don't have to mark rooms in war. I help with recruiting, which I already was, because I'm a nice person. Um, but basically, they want me to kind of be, like, the face of, of leadership. Because I'm a nice person. And I'm approachable. And people... No, and, and people... she has a nice face. No. You're... I'm muting my microphone so that when I'm not talking, you can. No, I don't pay attention to all that. You're the only one here who's interested in the sound behind the scene. The only one. Anyways, so I am now a captain. I moved up. I'm still kind of bittersweet about it. Mm. Women attract <laughs> nerds. That's a good strategy. Did you read Stockies? Uh -uh. Uh, the, the top one. Fear, furries, ASMR, what's next? Writing subs, names on your thigh. <laughs> Should whip out your thigh there, run. <laughs> I don't have big enough thighs. Let me do some squats for a year and then maybe. Mm. Thank you, Hollywood. I disagree with your statement, but thank you. Yeah, wasn't that wasn't that fun stream with Sifu Shan, that late night stream? I'm gonna do more of that. It was it was so relaxing. That was just turn the camera on and just play video games with friends. I didn't put any thought into it or anything. I didn't really care. I didn't set the potential very high. Because I like to try and come into stream with things to talk about, things to do. Like I've got a whole list of stuff that we can do on stream today um, that we're not even gonna get to because I don't want to run out of content like I usually do, uh, like I used to do. So free docs fit. Sometimes that is true. Sometimes it's the opposite. Women also like, like nerds can run the opposite way. I, I have like with recruiting, I literally could be like, oh, hey, yeah. I have everything that you literally just asked for. And they won't even ask those, but like, no, like I'm pretty sure they see that I'm a mm -hmm. chick and they're just like, no, no. G girls don't play, whatever. Um, I'm just gonna so have to I, it, It's 50-50. Yeah, because there was that one guy who, like, kind of dismissed you because... You, he, kept you, calling, you, he kept calling me bruh. He was yeah, like, nah, bruh. Bruh. And I was like, okay, like, you literally just posted and said I, you wanted Well, of course, you know, it's the internet, and they're not using emojis, so you could misconstrue it. He might have meant to be pleasant and respectful, and it just oh, comes no. off wrong. You don't know. No, that's fine. <clears throat> I, it was just annoying because, like, he posted, I got to him within five minutes which could you know he could have already been poached and that's totally fine but then like 
he dismissed me and then the next day he posted again and i was like so you're still looking and i have what you need yeah like um so uh i am going to be going into doom 2 here so i'm going to be paying some pretty close attention and way too raw will probably be doing most of the talking because wow. I want to try and do my best this time around. Remember, you have the energy refresh thing that's cheaper, whatever, so it's a good day to be pushing on raids today. So we're pushing on Doom 2 today. That starts a server reset, but I probably won't need to refresh or core or anything until then. I may have spoke too soon. I may just get completely blown out of the water here. I haven't done the Doom 2 in over a month. Um, I don't even remember how to go about this. And uh, 650, 650 Axemen? Um, before we do this, let's go see if I can touch them up a little bit. I want to make sure that they're as primed for this fight as possible. Um, free dog to fit. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Um, there's, I mean, with recruiting in general, there's like these fine lines. No, uh, I, I think all I did was message and say, hey, I see you want this and this is what we run. And like, do you have any questions? That was it. We didn't even have like a whole lot of back and forth. It's not like he answered questions and I, I said uh, the wrong thing that I'm aware of. Wow, a lot of people are pushing uh, for 100% Doom 2.2 and Doom 2.1. Jeez. I hope you guys get it. Um, You know what? Let's take Bishop up enough. If he folds, this whole team is done for. I need to make sure, <clears throat> excuse me, make sure that this happens. I'm gonna put a little bit into him. I'm pretty sure I'm over my spending for my million a day already, but whatever. It's it's Doom 2. You're always over your spend. That's, I've never spent less than a million a day. <laughs> I don't know how, like... Because <laughs> I'm impulsive? Because I'm the, I'm the prime candidate for Scopely offers? <laughs> um... Well, okay. Hollywood, luckily we you have cores. I know that. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Um, we are recording good, so when 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 I fail, then it'll be it'll be done live. <clears throat> yeah. There's the team. Um, I'm okay with this placement. I understand that I could be putting Bishop in between these two. But I'm gonna do this instead. I, I'm I'm just I feel comfortable playing it this way. And yes, I know that I should probably be changing her to a skirmisher, but I'm used to playing her as a striker, so and I don't have the ISOs to change her, so this is just how it's gonna be. Oh, so becoming a captain, this was interesting. So we're gonna try to start prepping for, for Doom, right? Mm -hmm. We're not there yet. I'm in a smaller alliance. I'm not even 300 days played so um but we're gonna start prepping for doom and so i i was asking you know like hey we have it worked out because they have everyone's rosters to see who who gets what lane is best mm -hmm. and i'm like let me know i want to start i want to start prepping i want to start investing and they're just like well you're a captain now so like what do you want you can pick get first choice so now i chat do you have recommendations on it what uh doom Raid Lane Doom 1.0, I think. Uh, I should go for. Told you she's a prepper. I like to be prepared. Middle is easier. I think I had skill when we tried, but I could be wrong. Aw, thank you, Mr. Bargains. Well, we're grateful to have you in chat. Seriously. And any reason to get run in a uh, she Hulk costume. Heck first, oh, it's the hardest. Oh, Squirrel Girl, I forgot Squirrel Girl over here. You're really get looking out for me, huh? Get her, get her. Get her. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll have to bring my... um. I think we got this. My roster up one of these days. Because I think in the... I think the skilling is what I had, and all I had was basically Kestrel. Um, maybe we should get a little bit more speed up. 
No, we're doing okay. Oh. We're doing okay. We'll just keep tearing into him. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I know I that should works. probably... I should probably be, like, thinking ahead, but two, two is so far out of reach right now. Just want to make sure that I get enough speed going. I got plenty of time. I can keep it on auto basic. You're doing great. You're doing Thanks. great, babe. Oh, there's another silver surfer. Oh, God. Alyssa Ray, thank you for the follow. They thank you, babe. Thank you for the follow, Alyssa. I think it's a beautiful name, by the way. For a second, I was thinking it might be the Alyssa we know, but it was spelled differently, so I'm, I'm sure it's not. Seven billion people on this planet. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's maybe. probably one or two named Alyssa. Mystic is super easy with the Eternals and New Warriors. That is true. Wow, I just feel like I'm not hitting Silver Surfer at all right now. That I feel is... like I gotta switch. I feel like My Mystic, yeah, I already have my Eternals built um, as high as they can go until I level Ooh, up more. We're doing great today, Alyssa. Um... How are you? Thank you oh my oh i was like i was about to call you a troll shan and then i saw not trolling <laughs> i'm going slower than slow. you i knew you were going to uh to win i mean yeah. you've been playing so long it was just like <clears throat> a point of you getting off your butt and doing it which is annoying but i'm happy that i pushed you um i'm still in the global is that it um i Sorry. think you're on node 11. Budge if I know. Uh, you're not. Hey, look, I just censored myself. Oh, I'm so proud. That'll make up for when I don't censor myself later. <laughs> Which will be like a minute from now. <laughs> See? <laughs> okay, so first note down. I'm feeling good. I got sweaty palms, guys. I'm nervous about Doom 2. I really want to do good on this great. one. You look at you. I know. I know. Thank you. Thank it's you. funny because you're cocky when you talk about every other fucking thing in this game. Well, every other thing was, in this game, I'm I outpaced for. I was the number for. one for we're two finally, hours. We're finally, we're finally in content that is challenging for me. Um, and that's not a brag. I just happen to be bigger than most of the people in my alliance is all. Uh, we're going to go here. Dirty joke. Yeah, dirty joke. What level should Axeman be at for Doom 2? fast as we... What level should, uh, should our Axemen be at for Doom 2? Um, I'm thinking 700 would be more appropriate. I'm doing 650 and they're hanging in there, but take them to 700 because you're going to use them. Um, let's know that. Fly so, slower. speaking of Holly's comment, size yeah. does matter. Run has convinced me I what will... Did I miss? <laughs> Run has convinced me to do that dang video idea for him with him yep a commercial for scopely offers that's right that takes place in our bed mm -hmm. that's the one I'm, I'm saying that to trigger in case anyone was here for the conversation where he brought it to me live instead of talking to me behind the scenes you know but it is a really funny idea and uh i might i might have issues if he does it with someone else so I wouldn't. Well, you'd have to do it. Unless it's unless it's your other wife, Shan. If you want to do it with Shan, I'll let you. So, Axemen for 1.0, man, like 500 probably does does okay in there. Um, mine are 650. I auto through it. Complete full auto and it works just fine. Uh, let's speed this up. <clears throat> we need to get going. So, yeah. Um, really, it's the, the things that you need to worry about in one point zero with the axemen there's that uh second mutant node and magneto drops in and you kind of need to get it prepped for when he drops in you can take care of him before he blinds you because that can cause you some stumbling problems otherwise it's it's not so bad like i said once once you get over a certain like like all of a sudden your axemen will just hit this power level where it just works and it just goes easy um for the mutant boss node i use sinister and well, speaking of sinister <clears throat> i use sinister and uh the dad bros 
and then I clone long shot and just throw it on auto. And then my dad bros are big enough that I don't time out. And that's the only thing you gotta worry about there is when they, when they time out. Please kill that long shot. Thank you. Okay, now we're gonna go after, I guess we're gonna go after mom. No, we don't wanna go after mom. We wanna keep his dupes for speed, right? Isn't that what we wanna do? Yeah, you can help me out here, by the way. <laughs> Did I lose Bobby? Bobby? Maybe that placement wasn't optimal. Kill Shatterstar? Okay. He says kill Shatterstar. And I have trouble doing it now. I'm at 550k on my Axemen and they auto mutant in Doom 1. So there you go. 550k gets it done. Wow. I see people jumping into the Discord server. Disrupt Hulk. Disrupt Hulk. Okay, I'll just kill him because he's there. Running low on time here. I haven't been in to say hi, so if I missed you, hi in Discord. I tend to try and catch everyone. Yeah. Oh, cool. Shan says his are 400k and he can auto everything but the boss node. Oh, okay. Yeah. I never and do really, one. I've never tried the boss node with just my mutants. I just happen to have that sinister trick available to me. I used it, it works. And usually when I find something that works, I don't waste my time trying other things. Um, if chat asks me to do other things, then I then I try stuff. But... There's so many <clears throat> dirty jokes I want to insert, yeah. but I'm trying so hard to be good. Yeah, if you're new to the stream and Sorry. you hear us say something ridiculous that brings to mind something inappropriate, all you have to do is type in dirty joke into chat and we all kind of get it. I do the same thing for the boss node. And the sinister long shot loop, yeah. Put it on auto and lock on long shot once he drops. Okay. It's on auto. I don't know if we're gonna make it. 26 seconds, it's gonna be a close one. I don't know, cheer them on. I lost Bobby. Gotta bring Bobby back. He's one of my least empowered characters. Built characters. We'll work on that. Sorry, the timer. I'm like, it has my adrenaline going. Four, three, two, with the longest <gasps> animation in the world. Yeah, oh my god! <laughs> oh, yeah. That, I'm sorry, I was like down to the second and I couldn't. To the zero second. That's awesome. Although my cooldowns are completely screwed for the next one. So I may just go in and botch this. In fact, I'm gonna hold off on this one. I'm gonna talk it over with my alliance and see how we want to approach the boss note because it's my understanding that I may want to bring in Omega Red with a team member. Um, uh, well, Iceman has a revive, so he usually has a decent survivability. Yeah, he his, he used his revive and then some. Um, so would would Iceman be the one I want to replace with Omega Red? Um, let's take a look. So Bobby's out. Omega Red's in. Is that what I want to run? That's the only problem on the mutant nodes. They'll tend to time out. Second mutant node has some RNG on the first wave. Yeah. Well, I got through it. I got through it at, at whatever that 750 thing. No, same team. But I'd have to revive Bobby. You think that's worth it? Bro, way resource. Did you just hear that deep breath? East Jubes, Bishop, Iceman, Kitty. Put him in the middle? Okay. Alright. Um... Bexer, you must have, um... You must be from YouTube videos. Cause haven't- you're in Discord. You've been in Discord for a while, but I feel like this is- Is this the first time I've seen you in chat here? Or maybe you just, uh... Is this what you're talking Follow about? Follow now. From left to right, you want Beast, Tubes, Bishop, Kitty, Iceman. Really? Bishop next to Jubilee? Why? No, Kitty on the far right. Why Kitty on the far right? He's got dodge like crazy, man. He, she evades like crazy. Okay, Hollywood Insiders Club says this is what we're supposed to do. Well, if you get your money's worth. Yeah, Maybe. right? If if uh, if this doesn't work, I want my um, I want my membership feedback. 
And keep in mind, my cooldowns are completely shot going into this node. It's gonna be rough. Okay, you do it daily. All right. Who am I going for? Oh, no worries, Vexer. I just, it was something I noticed. Because I've, I've talked with you in chat. Um, in uh, Discord. Who's, oh, Jube's going to counter, so she'll she'll put the blind, hopefully, on Kestrel. That'll help. Oh, Kestrel's going to self-cleanse. Damn it, that was stupid. Okay. If Jube's has an assist on her, aim for Shatterstar. There is no Shatterstar, Hollywood. Are you on the wrong node? Aim for Jubes. Okay. For Jubes. Here we go. Jubilee. We're getting the assist from um, Beast. This is all going wrong. This is all going terribly, terribly wrong already. Yeah, he was on the wrong mode uh, for a minute. We can stun Jubilee here. That'll help. Okay. Um, now what? I'm kind of worried about Doom. He's doing things that are making me scared. We can beat some of those boss now. Oh! Your war started. <laughs> Yeah, I know. That, no, that's my brother-in-law. I know, me. but you guys were supposed to remind me to remind him that war was oh, starting. We did some war attacks. Okay. We oh, did we did. Attacks, I remember yeah. you're complaining now about... When Doom alts back out. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm stuck behind the Thanos taunt now. That sucks. i to take out Taskmaster and Doobs before Doom alts. <laughs> and that's not going to happen. I'm stuck behind the taunt. Uh, maybe I should be going basics to... Um, I'll probably do basics to get my, my cooldowns ready for the second time in. Um, that doesn't do any good when she's blind. Nemo. Beast or kitty can clear the taunt. Okay. Looks vicious. Yeah, it is. It's uh, th This is all terribly, terribly wrong. But we're going to save our, our ultimates, our cooldowns and stuff. And we're going to come back in after Doom alts. And we should be fine. IU Flip says I always use Kitty's Disrupt on Thanos. Yeah, I should have done that. I should have done that. I could put a stun on Thanos. I don't know. I'm going Dead. We're doing damage to him. Good. Clear it. Kill yes. Taskmaster. Yeah, I'm going to try that. I do get pretty good damage out of Jubilee as a striker. I'm not sad about that decision. I do want her as a skirmisher, but I'm not upset about the striker. I know. I'm, I'm going to go kill Taskmaster as soon as I can get past this taunt. There we go. Okay. He... Whoops. He doesn't have slow, so he didn't get the stun. That was stupid. Uh, we're going to go here. Bam. Uh, then we'll go... Do this. We don't need the stun. We can hit him hard with that. That ought to work. <clears throat> oh my god, stick a slow to him, please. Thank you. Oops, there's the ult. Son of a bitch. Didn't make it. I tried. I didn't make it. Well, yeah, I know what I'm doing now. Deal. Yep. I know you should have backed out a second earlier so I didn't lose two members. That was dumb, too. Yep. Yeah, I know. I know. Learning curve, guys. Everyone's Learning curve. yelling Everyone's at you screaming at me. Chat's just exploding. Okay. <clears throat> so. Well, now you get a revive two other right, members. I'm going to wait till after server reset so that the revives are cheaper. And um, and I'll come back and, and I'll do that again. Yeah, I, I learned some things. I learned some things today. We're recording it. That'll probably go in the fail file. <laughs> Well, we gotta have content for the fail file. That's right. I mean, not that I don't have a list of of clips as long as my arm already. Seriously, I have hours of footage for for the second season of Fail Files. I'm looking forward to it. I thoroughly enjoyed the first one. Well, good. Hey, Freedox Fit got something out of it. Found it for. Good. Found I'm, what not I'm to do. I'm glad I could help. I'm glad I could help. We're here to show you what not to do. So you don't uh, mess up. Okay. I'm gonna throw this on off. Fiddle him down. I remember the days of being on the right side. Is that the easy side? I don't know. I don't know what stock he's talking about, actually. Tell you the truth. I figured it was the right side of the app. Oh, oh yeah, being over on the mutant side. Yeah, because 
thing is, is that a lot of us are going full stop on symbiotes until we build, build the web warriors. So we're like kind of stacking up on the mutant side. Going for that. Plus, like, isn't Mystic the next one? And that's going to be that. I can probably beat that fairly easily. Um, I mean, I could go and do the symbiote side, but I want to practice the mutant side. I already told my alliance I'm taking a mutant here. <clears throat> wow. You're on the left now. That's what it looks like if you've never seen Done the Mutant 2.1 boss node. Okay. Informative. Yes, well, uh, thank you guys for helping me out. I, I know what to do the next time I go in. So if we run Doom 2 again, I'll, I understand it now. Um, you know, slow Doom, kill Taskmaster, kill Jubilee. Then as soon as he goes into his all back out before he blows up and come back in and destroy it. So, um, <laughs> thanks Hollywood. I appreciate that. I'm not going to say that for the people watching YouTube, but yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I was a Star Wars player for a long time. MSF was a side thing. Now I drop Star Wars and I'm focused on MSF, so I don't know all the kits and everything. Hearing the thought process like you do helps me. I like to talk it out loud, so I'm glad I'm glad that helps somebody because um, I ain't I ain't doing it. I, I do do it for my own benefit, but I'm glad somebody else is getting out of it. He talks to himself out loud anyways, so oh, at God. least at it's least funny. that you or me. I don't think I need to uh, switch to basics, but whatever. I was going to ask that, but Stocky got to it. Yeah, how long uh, have you been playing Free Docs? Nice work, Silver. Oh, I hate that, Silver. I hate when you like have this buildup and you go into a super, super important node and the game starts lagging on you. Right. When you need, when you need every second, like we did in raids to zero seconds. We needed every second. You know, you almost want to switch it into potato graphics just to be safe. Of course you still beat it, Silver, because you're freaking awesome. I'm so happy that you are high in arena now. You deserve that. Because, like, you, that's not, how do I want to word that? I was high in arena and you were behind me for a while, right? But that was because I'm in a newer arena shard. There we go. That's better. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm good now. I'm just trying to get things up and running so I know what's going on. Because if I don't have 17 windows open in front of me, I just don't feel like I'm multi tap properly. <clears throat> oh, ouch, free docs. I mean, welcome back. That's awesome, but... I feel like this game, if you walk away, Ooh. you should just come back with a new account. Honestly, Join yeah. a new arena shard, like... You know, or you could... I mean, you know, if you, you're a spender, if you're a spender, you can catch back up. And and also, if you're a spender, buy someone else's account. That too. Like, if you're going to spend 50 bucks on a character release, go, go into, like, Global and be like, hey, I'll pay somebody 50 bucks for their account if they have these, these, these characters ready to go. I mean, I don't... I don't know. It just seems like a reasonable choice if you want to get serious about it. But that, that's kind of, I don't know. Spending money on this game is, I have weird emotions about spending money on this. Uh, you know what? That's a good point, um, Stocky. That is true. Um, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm free to play as well, free docs. Uh, I, my uh, glitter sisters helped me in arena. I did great with them. Um, and now Eternals too. Once you learn, I kind of like this new uh, arena. It's a great meta to learn in because there's like basically five, maybe six or seven different variations of the teams that are going to win at the top. And you just get to learn that handful of players tunes really well. I think it's pretty cool. Um, Hollywood jumping in to take credit. <laughs> <laughs> you you know what? <clears throat> I do give Hollywood credit. He got me with the Glitter Sisters. I got I, I got really good in Arena. However, uh, however, when it came to the Eternals, you and Run, I I had to throw your guys's advice out the window because it was screwing me. I got pushed back to almost 150, and I have not been back to 150 since I first came into the arena and came up past it 
I'm fairly certain that she simply misunderstood our advice, Hollywood, that and she's actually true. doing exactly what we told her to no, do. No, that's not and true. And it is effective, and she's winning. And so it really, we didn't do anything wrong, buddy. Don't worry. No, that's not true. <laughs> Everyone kept say, telling me um, that <clears throat> defense doesn't matter. Just free, just leave your, just leave your Infinity Watch there. Mind you, I have a K Watch. I don't have Warlock, I'm which telling makes you, a I'm big difference. You, build shield security for that Zemo defense. It's gonna work great. I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt that. <laughs> Anyways, it was not user error. I did what you guys said and I ended up, it didn't work. So I ended up switching my defense up and now it holds pretty dang well. Whereas before it wouldn't hold at all. I think, you know, you could be right. I, I am, no, of, I am right. I am I right. I think that there are pockets in the rankings where certain defenses hold better than others. Maybe you just get in a group of people, like kind of thinking like chaos theory here, just a group of people that prefer to attack a certain defense rather than others. Like there's a lot of people that don't want to waste their time attacking an Infinity Watch team because it takes a lot. But that's Infinity Watch with Adam Warlock. Right, Not I understand. one with Kestrel. I'm just using it with as an example. With Kestrel, I would <clears throat> search for that team. I'd be like, score, easy win with my Eternals. I'm over this guy. Anyways. Um, oh, yeah, it was stocky. It was, it was a, a terrible advice. I was up way late one night and she needed a tune for a certain situation. She was attacking into Zemo and I was thinking about the, um, the taunt that comes up on him, completely forgetting that he's a minion. It was, it was a ho horrible, yeah. horrible advice. And uh, she shames me about it all the time, but I like to, I like to ride my fail, wear my fails on my sleeve. Um, thank you, Freedox. I am right. I feel like you guys play in a different, because you guys are... That's, that's true. It's it's good to get advice and, and have conversations with people who are playing in different arenas, different levels, so that we can be in touch with a wider player base. So if this is an experience uh, that you're having, I do want to share it with the rest of the group. Um, Freedox, by the way, for, uh... Oh, you're just kissing ass now, Shifu Shim. <laughs> for your, uh, Blitz, you should check out Pathfinder Gaming, he does videos on um, Blitz teams. In fact, he did my roster and he got he got me more teams than I had before since I have a very, yeah, very and, slim roster. Did one of the mods throw up his um, his link to his Discord in, in the chat there so that people can find him if they need to? He, he is, uh, I, I believe he's one of the best at, at figuring out your Blitz yeah, he does great. I, I mean, even if he doesn't <clears throat> do your roster, you can look at the other rosters he's done um to have an idea to maximize yours and get better blitz scores mm -hmm. i feel like we should have add <laughs> it's not an ad <laughs> oh there's there's widgets there's widgets believe me i'm looking at them <clears throat> yep okay this is done and then after so after this raid I'm going to go into Blitz and I'm going to show off that uh, Hero Brawler build with the Web Warriors now that I got the proper ISO. Cliffy Shen and I were talking about it the other night and I didn't have the T4 in um, Gwen's basic and so it wasn't working right. And so now I'm going to test it out and see if it's if it's something people are interested in and want to do it. Stocky, I don't know what RIR is. Chat's got a mind of its own today. I don't know what, what they're talking about. <clears throat> Raw is right. That's I'm. A, I'm going to go raw with. Raw is right. R I R is raw is R -I -R, right. Raw is if right. If it's not, it is now. Okay. Raw is right. Yep. That. Nice. Don't worry. We won't tell your boss. Oh, way to use that ultimate perfectly timed there, S S M. That drives me. Let's see. Always does that. Now it's on super long cooldown for the next one. Oh well, I'll get it back. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go into Blitz. I gotta remember to mute your microphone when I cough out loud too. That's kind of pointless to mute mine and then cough out. Raw is right is better than raw is best. I like raw is right. We're gonna go. He doesn't even have the headphones on. I'm listening. I'm just. I heard you. I didn't have a, anything to comment on that one. Your Gwen is still oh, level no. one. Okay, neither hero nor brawler is in the N section. I gotta remember to work my alphabet. Okay, there we go. 
So the brawler team that we were using was X-23. I'm actually probably going to be doing Captain Marvel um, in there. Wait, huh? And yeah, and then okay. <laughs> what are you laughing? I feel like you're laughing at me. No, I'm laughing at Stocky's comment, making fun of you. That's that's kind. Of, yeah, I figured in a roundabout way it would get there. Alphabet for run a yeah, a h n c d q r b. Yeah, that's me. That's me, hundred percent. I'm so bad at spelling. You wouldn't believe how many times I try to spell phone with an f, guys. I do it all the time. All have anybody who's in my Discord, and you know how it shows when somebody's typing in Discord. Anybody who's been in my Discord will see me typing something out, and 30 minutes later it'll appear. And that's me trying to autocorrect. I get on my phone and I like speak the word into the phone so it'll tell me how to spell it. I'm so horrible at that. Okay, so we gotta change these ISOs. We need to make her a striker. I'm pointing at my screen, but you guys, we need to make her, okay, it doesn't matter. We need to make her a striker, and we need to make Miles a skirmisher. And then we need to make X-23 a striker just to fit with the team a little better. Okay, so there's three ISOs I gotta change. Let's do that, and we're gonna save this Squad, I believe, just so I can remember it. Okay. Um, can I manage this? I don't forget. We're gonna go into here because this is out. Okay. I'm gonna change this over to a striker. Striker level one. I'm not wasting ISOs on this lame brain idea, guys. Because here's what I'm talking about. Um, uh, I need to look at her basic. Select this. Check out her basic so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Wow, that swapped, that changed her power level. So on her basic, if Spider-Man Miles is an ally and if the primary target has slow, apply blind. Oh, it's slow, not defense down. I'm really glad I read that. Okay, that might've been another reason it wasn't working last time. Okay, slow, apply blind, Miles is on the team. Got it. All right, then we're gonna go to Miles and make him a skirmisher so that he applies the vulnerable. Again, we're losing the potential on the hero brawler build, but I'm just specifically going for an element of control. And I'm combining it with Hero Brawler. Whatever. What's Stocky saying? I got lucky on a $10 off for two orbs. Got 32 shards to unlock her early. I'll get her to four star. Nice. Always nice when that happens. There's that. And then we wanted to change X23. Uh, well, That one. What's the fresh horizons of... I should probably know. Uh, so the Fresh Horizons event is this idea that it's going to be a different kind of an unlock for Scarlet Spider, is that right? And it'll require um, T4, uh, not T4, um, training materials and gold. Oh. And we don't really have a lot of information. It's kind of rumored, but it's like, I'm trying to save gold and T4 mats for that. Really? Let's see how much gold you've saved. I think I have like two. Two gold? Two gold. Stop on gold <clears throat> to use your training modules for Fresh Horizons. Okay, I'm curious. Like, what's a good amount to be stocked? Because I feel like All I feel like it. this is my time to All shine. Right. You already have enough. Okay, so I have 200. I have nothing for gold, but I do have some gold ore, which is what I know. No, 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 no! I don't want to buy that. Get away from me! No. Get away from me! Pop ups. Little dirty, filthy pop ups. That is so mean because like everyone I know, that's not me has gold 31. and training that issues 31 gold um everybody has gold issues a lot of people have training magic yeah that's gonna um, suck shan and i will be fine on gold my brain i have both two free docs i'm kind of curious all my gold's gone. see now i'm down to eleven thousand. that's how it works with me i don't even pay attention i click buttons until it says i don't have any I'm glad I don't run the ATM, like. Making sure, because I didn't do the store refresh and I didn't go into the store and check for things. Carbonadium. Yeah, need that. We're good. Oh, nice. Look at you. <clears throat> I have 20 something million. Let's go do this. Gold and like 150 gold orbs. Team. Which, of course, that weird team. could be... I, there's probably not even a million and 150 gold orbs, I swear. Okay, so that's random junk. That's random junk, and that's pretty much random junk, too. 
Let's go with this team. Um, nice. Where are my cores are at? And we'll give this a shot. Oh, I want to be able to pick the targets and not have somebody taunt when I'm practicing. But he's got a tank. I'm 8 million cores. I'm back. I'm getting back up there, Holly. Okay, so this is 150k punch up or something close to that math. Uh, basically, I just want to show how you can apply blind at your... Try it again without sim. <clears throat> okay. Um, I don't want the tank. The tank. Okay, symbiotes, I guess. Partial sim. Okay, so I'm going to try and see if we can apply blind at our leisure with, um, with Gwen. With Ghost Spider. Nice. Good luck finishing DD4 quickly. I'm in the middle of DD3. Okay, we're going to put Disrupt over here so he doesn't spread positive effects to people. Now, this should call the assist, and she'll come back and land blind on anybody who has slow. Oh, it, oh, that's right. It applies slow. So you can do this to anybody and it's gonna work. But we're gonna go into Venom just because he has high health and I kind of want to see what happens. So it'll apply slow, then the vulnerability with uh, Miles, and then she'll come back in with her basic and apply blind. And the ability block. Wow. And it didn't work. What went wrong? What went wrong right there? Why did it not apply the blind? Well, now I'm frustrated. Am I reading it wrong again? Um, pull this team off, come I, back in and try it again. I wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> I should probably slow it down a touch, just to pay more attention to it. Isn't the blind on a crit? Ooh. Shoot. Okay. Yeah, you wanna go get that? Oh, it's almost noon. Yeah, well, I'm gonna keep trying this for a minute. Man, time flew by in this stream, didn't it? I didn't get to, I had tons of stuff to go over today. Oh well, I'll carry it over. My, my, um, my uh, sister and my brother-in-law are in town from Texas. And so they're, they're over there hanging out and uh, they forgot that I am streaming right now. Okay. Um, so it's probably going to get a little loud in here. <clears throat> okay. Let's try it on the shield team. I'm going to hey, read Ryan. through and see. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> um, got to leave for the movie soon. Oh man, I'm so jealous. We have a new movie theater just across the street from us that just opened up and they're playing Spider-Man and I can't wait to go check it out. Okay. okay. We're going to try this one more time and see if it works. I'm going to put the disrupt over here, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Um, <clears throat> okay, we're gonna go, oh, whatever, fine, our ability block. Um, well, we're gonna kill some people off too, apparently. Okay, there's that. Come on, Gwen, take a turn. Okay, apply assist now to a random Miles Spider-Man. I did make him a skirmisher, didn't I? Did I make him a skirmisher? And then, um, if... The attack primary target, gain of aid, in raids, if Spider-Man Miles is an ally, and if- Oh, in raids. Son of a bitch. You'd think I would read through this stuff and figure it out. So it's in raids. It doesn't even work outside of raids. This idea is a bust, guys. In raids, it might be effective. I'm not building the hero brawlers as a raid team. That's insane. Not gonna apply in Dark Dimension. This is a total bust. It's just not effective. Not gonna do it. So... I recommend Raider on Gwen, uh, Striker on Miles, Skirmisher on Spider-Man, uh, and then the other two are probably going to be Raider also, or maybe Striker. I'm not sure. Striker or Raider? I can't remember. Yeah, so oh, you that's, just got that's raided. a bust. That's a bust. Okay. Fat Panda Rage is raiding with a party of six. Thank you, Fat Panda. How's your stream, my friend? Um, Fat Panda Rage is another non-voy. You guys should check him out. We can uh, throw up his um, his links in the Discord. Um, Fat Panda, you came in at just the right time because we're about to shut down stream here in about five minutes. <laughs> um, so we're gonna we're gonna have to send off to somebody else too. Uh, let's see here. We're in Blast Off. Where's Fat Panda's stuff? Oh, that's Blast Off. I want links and logos. So 
Um, that's lunatic. That panda, you have not put your links and logos in the in the Nonvoy Discord. What are you thinking, <gasps> buddy? How am I going to easily find your stuff and send send you off to other places? Um, go ahead and put your you can put your invite in the message box. I think it'll allow it to do it, or could one of my mods do it if they can? Um, all right, who is streaming right now? It says I think fat, you. I think you. It says the Fat Panda Rage is streaming right now. I think my uh, my thing's a little behind, isn't it? Um, man, there's nobody on today. What is going on? Well, Sage is streaming. Sage is streaming. Let's go. Let's go uh, raid Sage Sentient for a second. That'll be fun. Hey guys, I appreciate you showing up. I had a great stream today. It was a lot of fun. And um, uh, for those of you coming from Fat Panda's stream, I'm sorry we didn't get to hang out. We did a lot of stuff today. We had quite a popping, quite a popping stream. Uh, slash. That works. Another Ouch. sponsored stream. I've been seeing those a lot lately. Yeah, they're pushing that. Yeah, they're a pushing lot. that a lot. So, um, again, thank you guys. I really appreciate you showing up. All the subs and follows. It really makes me feel like I'm doing a good job entertaining you guys, keeping company. I hope you learned something from today's stream. I fail a lot, so you guys get to learn from my mistakes. Um, but we really do enjoy you guys keeping us company here and uh, hanging out. So I will probably be on for some bonus streams this week because I had a lot of fun hanging out with Sifu Shan. So keep an eye out for those. Otherwise, catch me on, what's today? Is today Tuesday? Hmm? Catch me on Thursday. I have no idea what Christmas I'm doing on Eve Thursday. Eve. Is it Christmas Eve Eve? Okay, we'll have to have a, something really special for that seventh seventh day of streaming or yeah, I don't even know, is it sixth day? I don't know, something. Anyway, bye guys. I'll catch you later. Bye.